Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this Corel file, and they're having trouble with, uh, when they traced it, it filled this in, and here's the trace, and, and it traced really good for a font. Uh, they did a really good job. Uh, this is an old, I think this is like Corel 12, uh, but as you can see, and I don't really know what exactly is going on because I've got a circle here that would be part of the Y, but it's, it's really not, and I didn't email them back, and this is real easy to fix. Uh, just grab the, the part that's uh, wrong and left click, no fill, and right click. Uh, hairline and this object doesn't really match it I know this is smaller but it doesn't really match that shape so just a little information you could take this one and left click right click go up to object and break curve apart and you can actually grab that piece and control D and make a duplicate of that piece and move it out of the way and then I would put this back to black and see it did so maybe this is what's going on uh, with her drawing so what you do in this case is just use the smart fill tool to fill in your area but then you always want to take away that hairline so now we've got a piece so that might have solved her problem right there she was turning it black instead of creating it black and I don't I'm not sure if the hairline yeah the hairline's gone it just looks like it's there. So now we have a better shape for our Y, even though that font is quite a bit larger. We can scale that Y down, and it's your your call. We need to go a little bit more, but not much. And then I would change my nudge distance to 0 0.001, and then you can just grab that and just nudge it around until you think it's right and then take your take this away you don't need any more take your smart fill tool and fill that in and then with that selected I would right click no outline and there you have it that was a pretty easy fix um, that still looks there is there's still a red hairline on that so we need to Click on that, and a lot of times you're clicking on the smart fill, and your the outline is still there. So what you can do is, in this case, would be to take your nudge distance and make it larger, make it two inches. Grab your smart fill and move it out of the way, and then take your outline and just hit it delete, and you could actually delete all these, and then put this back. Even though the hairline is not going to affect you. Um, in engraving uh, just in case you cut something out and it's the same scenario here so we're going to move that out of the way grab that and delete it grab that back and, and also delete that grab that back and put it back and now you have no hairlines so it's not going to it's not going to affect your engraving but if you just happen to cut it out you know have the laser cut out the wood it's going to go back in there and cut those letters out. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.